Welcome back! In today's video I'm going to visit a friend and we're going to make some anhydrous ammonia. So I want to make this clear, this friend is putting all of this work into this and I'm basically just filming it. So huge thanks for making this possible and yeah, show some love in the comments however you want to do this. Also in the last video I got a huge amount of suggestions and comments and also new subscribers and I will make a follow-up video on this eventually but it will take a while so have a bit of patience. All right let's go. All right I'm now in the secret lab. We started preparing yesterday already. It took a little bit too much time because we uh, made a custom temperature probe adapter here and this took a little bit too long. And like I said, we were going to make some ammonia and we're going to use some urea reacted with sodium hydroxide, get ammonia and sodium carbonate. I think pretty common reaction on YouTube. And we, are, we will add this either as a solid or we're going to dissolve this in some water. We already weighed in the urea yesterday, so that's already in there. And this is the container for the ammonia. And we sucked it out, sucked all the air out with the vacuum pump, so there's no air contamination in there. And we can weigh the thing and see how much ammonia we got. Also to liquefy the ammonia, we have here a huge container of dry ice. That's, that's really cool. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set everything up. The reaction will be in here and the gas will come out. Uh, I uh, come out up here and this is a normal dry gas trap and we're going to put some sodium hydroxide in here and this will dry the ammonia and then it will continue here. There's a little bit of uh, buffer volume and yeah this hose will be connected to the bottle and the bottle will be in a dry ice methanol or dry ice methanol solution. Okay, so that's the sodium hydroxide we will put in here. Yeah, dilute it in some water and we're go going to use this drain cleaner for the water trap. So yeah, we, we just talked about this is uh, overkill, like the video from Applied Science, he made some ammonia as well and uh, it, we, we don't need that much, that's way overkill uh, to dry the ammonia, but oh well. All right, putting the sodium hydroxide solution in there. Ah, okay, that's uh, that was half the solution. We have to put in, this was 400 gram, we need to put 800 grams into this so 
You need to uh, do this again. <laughs> so, we are almost ready. Second batch of the sodium hydroxide solution. The trap is ready. We have a cooler to catch uh, the first water that's coming over. And we will add this now. And first we're going to flush everything with ammonia before attaching the bottle and we still have to put the cooling solution in here. That's our red methanol for some uh, because of this uh, this stuff got in there right that that was the reason ready to start i think Now that's just turning on the stirrer and this will mix everything and then it will really start reacting. We didn't really turn the heat up that much. It's uh, really the mixing that's uh, going to start this. It's going! Hell yeah! All right, system is flushed and now the bottle is attached. Uh, whoop. Now it's really going. And we just run to the, the shield just fell on top of us. <laughs> nice. So yeah, you, if you uh, close this, the uh, syringe or whatever this is, will fill with gas and rise up and pressure is going to build up exactly like this We are heating this, turning up the heat to drive off the ammonia and now the condenser is filled with water and we have to manage the, the pressure in there with the valve on the bottle. Holy shit, this is uh, going really crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're putting dry ice into the cooling water. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, we're putting dry ice into the cooling water for the condenser. So, <laughs> it will cool down a bit more and we're almost done. It's, it's done when it's like more bumping and stuff and then we will turn down the heat. All right, the solution is now really bumpy and that's the point where uh, you need to stop the reaction. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's really... Mm. I don't know if you can see this, but the condenser is like vibrating a lot. So yeah, it's really bumpy and we're going to stop the reaction now. You can see the amount of gas that's going through there. But yeah, that's now almost at the end of the reaction. All right, yeah, it was really bumpy. So we turned off the heat and stopped this 
and now it's time to let everything cool down and see how much ammonia we collected in here. I'm just going to run when the smell is hitting me. That's that's weird. It's I'm not smelling a lot of it. It's okay. it's fine actually. I thought it's going to be a lot worse with the ammonia smell. Okay. All right, now that's just, that's cleaned up and most of this stuff is cleaned up. And this bottle is now slowly warming up. All right, moment of truth. Truth. How much do we have now? All right, 615 grams. And now to the calculations on uh, how much this actually is. Two hundred twenty-three grams. Okay. Uh, how much do we expect? I don't know. We don't know. <laughs> mm. Okay. So this is from last time. This is uh, two hundred twenty-six grams. All right. It seems that it's uh, eighty-seven point five percent yield exactly. Pretty good, nice. And because we only have this cylinder to show, uh, we're going to pull out some ampules of anhydrous ammonia from some other batch to show you how it looks like. Very nice. Just a clear liquid, but still very cool. <laughs> All right, that's it. And next time we're going to make some nitric acid with this ammonia. So if you want to see this, subscribe. And until next time, bye.